Donald Trump's words resonate as a bold declaration of core conservative values. Values like transparency, accountability, and unyielding courage. As the election looms closer, these themes are at the heart of our political discourse, shaping the way public opinion is formed. Do you regret debating President Biden so early on in the race? Do I regret debating Biden so early? It was, it was his request. He said we should get the debate so early. And I was willing. Don't forget, I got CNN. I got Jake Tapper and Dana Bash. And they're not Trump people. Uh, they wanted to have a debate where their mics are turned off when the other person's answering the question. They gave me every single thing that I couldn't approve. And I said, yeah, I'll do it. So they got the debate on their terms. They got the network that they dreamt of. But that was really his decision. I had to decide whether or not I felt I had I wanted to debate him. And I think they didn't want to debate, but I agreed to every single thing. It was a debate where they said, uh, we'll give him something that it'll be impossible for him to accept. And I accepted all the terms other than when they had us sitting down at a desk. And I said, I think that makes us look bad. I don't want to sit down. Let's stand up. And they agreed to that. Other than that, uh, we gave them CNN. We gave them Dana. And we gave them Jake. And by the way, I have to say, Jake Tapper and Dana Bash were unbelievably straight and honest. And I give them a lot of credit for that. Uh, a lot of people were saying you couldn't have a fair debate. I think we have that with ABC. I have some people at ABC that don't like me too much. Uh, I find it to be about the worst. George Slobodopoulos. I have a lot of I have a lot of people at ABC that I find it to be actually the most unfair of all the networks. And they want to do it on ABC. Whatever. Uh, you know, I don't mind. Uh, the question that you're asking, though, about whether or not the debate should have happened would have been a better question to ask of Joe Biden, because had he not done the debate, he would still be running for president and people would be hiding him just like they're hiding her right now. You know, they're hiding her no different than him, because I believe she's grossly incompetent. And I don't think that when people hear what she has to say, they're going to buy it. When Trump accuses Joe Biden and Kamala Harris of hiding behind public surveillance, it's not just an attack. It's a deep seated concern about the integrity of leadership. It reflects a conservative suspicion that the media and political elites are shielding certain candidates from scrutiny to push their own agendas. Trump's willingness to engage in debates that seem skewed against him highlights the conservative ideal of meeting challenges head on, demonstrating strength and resilience in the face of adversity. His insistence on authenticity and facing the truth is a call for leaders to engage directly with the public, to confront challenges openly rather than retreating into the shadows. Kamala Harris's supposed hiding is seen as a lack of courage, a refusal to take on the risks and responsibilities that leadership demands. In contrast, Trump positions himself as the candidate who's transparent, brave, and ready to speak directly to the people, even when the odds are stacked against him. This stance is not just a political tactic. It taps into a deep psychological need for strong, decisive leadership. A need that many find compelling. The emotional undertone of Trump's remarks is designed to sow doubt and distrust in the political process and the media. By implying that Biden and Harris are hiding, Trump plays into the fears of his supporters, who are already skeptical of the current political landscape. His message is likely to strike a powerful chord with those who value transparency, authenticity, and strong leadership. The narrative of overcoming unfair challenges and exposing hidden truths is bound to resonate with people who feel that the system is rigged against them.